Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I have a brief report on May Sui and Pastor Nang and their family and everything that's been going on in the last couple days or even hours. Um, yesterday we sent out a um, video just petitioning you all to join us in prayer. Um, our hearts were grieved when we learned that May Sui was rushed into the hospital and was in need of emergency surgery. Um, and in a place like Myanmar, that can be a very terrifying thing. We have many, many stories where the outcome was extremely unfortunate. So we thank you all for joining us in prayer. Um, we learned early this morning, um, late last night, around 4 a.m., that Macy actually made it out of surgery and she's doing well. Um, our concern now is less about the surgery itself and more about the recovery and aftermath of the surgery. In a place like Myanmar, infection and other um, circumstances can lead to um, a worsening in her sickness or condition and we just really do not want that so we're just trying to take care of her to the best of our ability and Pastor Nang is too. He loves his wife very much and he will not spare anything to make sure that she's taken care of and we agree. We want May Sui to be cared for well and so whatever it takes we are just jumping in and trying to do that. Um, some of you already pitched in and gave towards that need. Um, we actually still need help with the medical expenses as well as future care. Um, not only did she just have surgery, but she also had um, a C-section for baby Rebecca. And so her body has just taken quite the toll. And not only is that just really heavy on her physical body, but emotionally and spiritually, that can be very trying. Um, with everything that's going on in Myanmar, from sick kids at the orphanage to repairs on the truck, there's just so much going on. But we know that we serve a God who can do all things, just like Pastor Nang said in his message that I shared with you all. He truly believed that God could heal his wife and he did bring him back to her. And we also believe that God can provide the funds for these little kids at the orphanage to get the medical need that they need as well and the truck getting back in shape. That vehicle has been through it with us and we really don't want to have any other vehicle. We love that truck. That truck has been through mountain villages and streams and all types of things that have just really aided in our ministry working in Myanmar and has been such a blessing to Pastor Nang's life and their ministry. And so we just really need to jump in and give towards that need as well as um, just further recovery for May Sui, just comfort in knowing that the things that she needs are already taken care of and that she doesn't need to worry at all. Um, we have her back and we want to make sure that her children are well cared for as well. So there is a lot going on and I don't want to overwhelm you all, but I just wanted to thank you all for jumping in and praying. Um, that was extremely encouraging at a time when our team's hearts just stopped at the news. Um, genuinely just like, dear God, we don't want to lose our sweet sister. We truly, truly love her and she's like family to us and we're just so thankful that God was able to guide the hands of the surgeons. Um, and we just continue to pray healing over her body and healing and just protection from infection. We do not want her to have another surgery and we do not want her to have any further infection. We truly, truly want her to be back with her family, back with her baby. Um, so yeah, we just thank you for watching this video. Thank you for taking time to keep up with what's going on in Myanmar. And um, we love y'all and we love everything that you guys have done through support, prayer, um, and we look forward to further connection.